goes a million Once again, miles ladies an and gents, this is our main event of this evening. This is a professional bantamweight bout sponsored by CBD Life UK. Introducing your fighters first of all in the blue corner. Age 32, stands at five foot four inches tall. He's a mixed martial art record of four wins, six losses and no draws. From Scotland, representing Asia Fight Academy. Weighing in at 60.8 kilograms, please put your hands together for Ian Bosselthwaite! <laughs> Facing him across the cage as his opponent in the red corner. Age 25, he stands 5 foot 9 inches tall. He's a clean record of three wins, no losses and no draws. He's from County Durham, representing TFT MMA. He weighed in at 60.7 kilograms. Ladies and gents, put your hands together for Nathan Liveran Haywood! This is your main event. We're scheduled for three five minute rounds. Your referee, Trevor Mitchell. The action is about to begin. And here we go. A lot of respect between these two men. Haywood knows the challenges Fossil Wick can cause. Fossil Sweet knows just how much of a challenge Nathan is, just how much of a hot prospect he is. Yeah, this is uh, going to be interesting how this starts out. Touch of gloves around the way. Haywood in the red shorts. Puffles away in the grey shorts with the Scottish flag on. Of course, representing this country down here today. Nathan really likes to attack that lead leg with them side kicks. Lovely head kick. Looking to fire one up the middle. Hothelswick will just happily take his time here, in no rush. Got three yeah. five minute rounds, should he choose to use them all. He's going to want to work his way in, Lovely close the distance. From Nathan. Oh, nice shot there. Both men looking very composed. Ian in no rush here, but equally Nathan just taking his time. I really like the way that he threw that shot to the leg three times and on that fourth he fires it up to the body. Yeah, and you know, Nathan's super dangerous on the feet, but you know, as I say, Ian ha does have knockout power, so John Nathan's going to have to be careful of that as well. And just as you say that there, Postle Threat goes to throw. Oh, yeah, nice left body kick. kick. Oh, Lovely Nathan returns. Taking this time here. Both guys just taking this in. A lot of reading time just to try and analyse the other fighter. Oh. Lovely head kick again there. Third or fourth time now Nathan's found that. Yeah, the speed of Nathan's kicks is uh, unlike what you'll see on the, on the regional scene. But he could have made a mistake there. He went for a spinning back fist. And that's allowed Ian Postlewave in on the body lock. But Nathan will just take his time here. Tricky customer on the floor is Ian Pothel's way, and he lands in the mount of Nathan Haywood. This is not where Nathan wants to be. Yeah, Ian, experienced grappler. Like I say, he's been around a long time. He's working a bit of a smother there with his chest. Nathan just needs to stay composed. He's getting his feet. He's trying to work his feet on the inside of Ian's heels so he can bump. Big chance of Haywood here. It's one of those things when you've got a short opponent on top. Like, it's hard to catch the feet with your legs because they're kind of just not there. <laughs> so Ian's got his, the, the, his feet together under Nathan's backside. Yeah. And that makes it much harder to actually escape the mount. So what does Nathan need to be doing here then to get out of this? Uh, well, this could work, but he's going to have to be careful of the arm. He's going to have to keep the weight on his arm here in this transition. Trying to shake Postle's weight off the top here. I think he needs to forget about the strikes, get them hands together. Oh! oh he needs to watch his arm, doesn't get caught, and he does very well to get out there. Nice, some nice strikes from top position as well. He's going to have to be wary of the guard though. Nice armbar attempt from Ian, but Nathan manages to square the hips up. Like you say, it's the experience here of Ian that's going to play dividends, isn't it? Yeah, he's shown, he's shown to be dangerous in all positions here. Nathan has to be very careful. Because you think there's one slight error with one of those punches. And Ian's going to try to lock it up. And Ian's already looking for another armbar. 
And he's starting to roll, Nathan. Nathan trying to stay calm here. Nathan needs to keep his hands connected, ideally try to stay on his knees. Where does it, which way does Nathan need to go in here as we look at If this? he can shift his weight back, now he needs to get on his knees, he's going to have to roll out. And wow, he, and lovely transition again. by Ian. Nathan, very quick to react. Wow, wow. some amazing jiu-jitsu on display here. Beautiful scrambles there from the both. Ian's corner calling for his head position to be better. Chipping away here at shots on Hayward. Nathan needs to create some space again. This is where Postle Wave wants to be. In this, look, this is the adversity that we thought that Nathan might get in this fight. He certainly is. Yeah, you know, he's, he's, um, he's shown he's at this, at this level so far. And been an interesting round to score so far. It certainly has. Pothos with yeah, like a backpack on Haywood. Again, the fight's on the mat. Ten seconds yet to go in this opening round of our main event of the evening here at Rise and Conquer 13. Oh, Nathan with a beautiful. big takedown just on the buzzer. Nice high dive from Nathan Haywood there just to finish the round. Nod between the two men. Taking his time. Talking to Paul Harper in there before his corner men get in, Andrew Fisher and James Hendon. And look, Ian said he was going to come in here and look to cause the upset, and he certainly looked to do that here in the first round. Yeah, I mean, strong first round from Ian Postlewaite. Uh, came very close with a couple of arm bars there. Um, Nathan obviously very reactive with his defence and hard to kind of pin down, you know, he's very scrambly. So he did a great job of defending uh, the arm bars. And he's going to look to make the most of this reset uh, from this second round. The ball going to be on the feet. Nathan's going to want to get them kicks going again. I'm going to push you for it then, Joe. Who would you give that round to? Ooh, uh, I think Ian came closest to the finish with the arm bar. I think Nathan landed the peanut strikes on the feet, but I'd probably just have to give it to Ian. Just. Yeah, we go second of three rounds, should we need them? And you think Ian's going to look to try and get this back to the mat. And Nathan was having a lot of success with the stand and with the striking. Yeah, he's going to get them. Oh, that hurt. That hurt, Ian. And Nathan's seen that hurt him as well. Just needs to not get carried away. He should mix that up with a, with a head kick. And again, that John Jones-esque stomp on the knee. Yeah, that's never going to feel nice. Just one of them can put your career, the brakes on your career for a while. It certainly can. You need to be raising that leg to prevent the damage there so you're not taking it on the knee. And Nathan though needs to not get carried away now with that. You, when he first seen he hurt him, I felt like he was going to go in for a but yet he, he pulled himself back, which is good to see. It's always good to see that in the development of a fighter. Yeah, for sure. Nice frames there from Nathan that stopped Ian from getting a, a, a body lock. There we go, two men break. That bouncing point fight, point style fighting of Nathan here with the switch kick. Postlewaite now coming back with some shots of his own. Nice oh, elbow beautiful there, elbows. Nathan. The swelling instantly going up over the oh. left side. Oh, and again, a stepping elbow. Heavy counter though from Postlewaite. Nathan still needs to be defensively minded. You can see the eye there, it's instantly went up. Surprising tactic from Nathan going for the double leg. He needs to just watch his neck here, he needs to take his time. Yeah, Ian's he working an arm in, guillotine. Nathan's got his weight stacked up high, which is going to help him. It's going to relieve a bit of pressure, but it's still not a good place to be. And we've seen how much of a tricky customer Ian can be on the floor as well. Yeah, you know, who knows how tight this is. Nathan's reacting, which isn't a good sign. He's I think tapping. Nathan taps. Ian Puzzle's weight causes the massive upset here in the main event of Rise and Conquer 13. And Ian Puzzle's weight takes it. What an upset that is there, Joe. Wow. Yeah. Um, interesting tactic by Nathan. I think he'd be kicking himself for that. But, you know, I can see what he was trying to change up, uh, be unpredictable, you know, mix up the striking with the takedowns. But Ian's a tricky customer, he's been around a long time and he managed to latch onto that guillotine. Certainly is, look, that's a very, very difficult one for Nathan to take, but we know he'll be back. Yeah, for sure. No, live and learn. 
Uh, still early on in his pro career. And you can feel, look, Ian said, Ian said that he, wa he wants to silence the crowd. That's what he likes to do. And he's certainly done that here there tonight. Yeah, uh, capitalized, he had, a, he had a brief opportunity and he capitalized on that and done a great job. Beautiful goal team. But look, Nathan will learn from this. He's a three in one now prospect. You sometimes need these fights. You need these difficult opponents. And of course the loss is gonna hurt now. And of course the loss is gonna hurt for the next week or so. But we have your winner in the second round by way of guillotine. Please put your hands together for your winner. In the blue corner, Ian Postlethwaite! And Ian Postlethwaite takes this. Also, ladies and gents, put your hands together for our runner-up, Nathan Haywood! And look, that will be hurting Nathan now. We know it will, but that there is what you get here. Yeah, that's why these matchups are so important. These even matches, this will happen. But like I said, he's a young prospect coming through. But what a nice for your with. Wow, yeah, I mean, he rises to the occasion when the when the when the uh, the cards are stacked against them. And uh, beautiful finish there. Um, experience really played a factor there. You know, he, he's, he's came in. He's got a brilliant win on his record and uh, looked good in the process.